fossils give us a glimpse into the past. And while most fossils have been explained by now, a few remain scientific enigmas. Do they come from a lost race of giants? Outer space? Or do we still have just no clue about our own weird world? Here are a few mysterious fossils science still can't explain. The Martian Bacterial Fossil Countless science fiction stories revolve around life on Mars, and more than a few pseudoscientists have found proof of life in odd Martian rock formations and camera glitches. But scientists take possible life on Mars seriously, and actually might have proof in the mysterious meteorite known as ALH84001, which fell to Earth in 1984. Scientists determined that the meteor was from Mars and was 4.1 billion years old. Shockingly, it seemed to contain fossilized bacteria, and since its arrival, scientists have debated about its true nature. While it looks like there's bacteria embedded in it, further study has been inconclusive. Even after 30 years of analysis, scientists aren't sure if they're seeing remnants of mineral structures or a fluke geologic formation. Most exciting is the idea that planets could be constantly trading rocks through this mechanism, and maybe even trading life as well. You would think that a claim of alien life would get shut down pretty quickly, but the exact nature of this little meteor is still debated. The news was big enough to warrant an announcement from then-President Bill Clinton. If this discovery is confirmed, it will surely be one of the most stunning insights into our universe that science has ever uncovered. And the possibilities are endless. Jurassic Park was cool, but Martian Park would be 10 times cooler. Tully Monster Discovered in 1955 by collector Francis Tully, the first Tully monster fossil completely defied explanation. Paleontologists eagerly attempted to place the fossil within known classifications, but nobody could figure out what the monster was actually related to. The main part of the creature had a body like a cuttlefish and had no bones, but could keep a rigid shape like a mollusk or worm. iPods stuck out from the sides of his body. And most terrifying, the Tully monster's proboscis ended in a set of jaws with teeth. Adding it all up, the Tully monster looks like a drawing of a squid after a few too many beers. Because many of these fossils were eventually discovered, some samples appeared to show a rudimentary spinal cord, letting researchers know they could at least classify it as a vertebrate, closely related to the lamprey. Aside from that, the Tully monster still remains a baffling evolutionary turn. Researchers are still trying to decide how it evolved what place it held in the prehistoric ecosystem, and whether or not they'd want to meet it in a dark alley. Arctic Dinosaurs When we imagine dinosaurs, we usually picture them in warm, tropical climates. But recently, scientists have discovered a new species of dinosaur living in the most unlikely of places, Arctic Alaska. These duck-billed dinos lived 70 million years ago in the frozen north and have created countless questions, forcing paleontologists to completely rethink what they believe about dinosaurs. Reptiles living in ice-cold climates isn't really a thing, so they've totally changed the idea that dinosaurs were only cold-blooded. Most likely, their blood systems were much more diverse than originally thought. The biggest mystery is how these frigid dinosaurs made it up there in the first place, so far removed from the biggest populations of their scaly cousins. With the mystery of their migration, blood chemistry, and the other gnawing question of what exactly they ate in the frozen tundra, Alaska is rapidly becoming the last frontier of paleontology. Godzillas In 2012, just outside Covington, Kentucky, a group of amateur paleontologists dug up one of the weirdest fossils in recent history. Oblong in shape, the fossil is around 7 feet long and consists of multiple lobes organized in an elliptical shape, like a flattened cactus, which is not exactly what you think of when you hear the name Godzillas. Research has dated the fossil to 450 million years ago, a time when life on Earth thrived in the water. So some assume that Godzilla's is some sort of strange sea monster, especially because the fossil structure is unlike anything paleontologists have seen before. Most oddly, nobody's sure if Godzilla's was a plant or an animal. Ron Fine, who discovered the fossil, theorized that it's a soft-bodied animal, which means 450 million years ago, there were blobby, slug-like animals larger than people wandering our oceans. Others believe it's merely a mat of algae, which sounds far more plausible, but also way less fun. The Nevada Giants The Paiute Indians in Nevada tell stories of a race of red-haired giants that lived for thousands of years before the Paiute settled the land. Other Indian tribes in the United States tell a similar story. According to the Paiute, the tribes unified to defeat the ginger giants and finally kicked them out of their homeland after a protracted war. 
Settlers to the West did not originally believe the Indian stories, but that changed in 1911 when miners discovered Lovelock Cave. The cave was huge, and it was previously inhabited. When they began digging through the many feet of bat guano, they discovered hundreds of ancient artifacts, along with huge humanoid bones, most of which were destroyed. The site garnered intense interest, and soon amateur archaeologists and paleontologists swarmed the area, discovering more huge bones that seemingly came from 10-foot-tall giants, but may have just been bears. Digging also revealed what looked like giant fossilized handprints. The most interesting find, however, were the skulls, which featured oddly shaped jawbones and elongated features and, like everything else, were reportedly huge. The skulls are now held at a nearby museum, which maintains that there's nothing too unusual about them. They're also not on display due to Native American beliefs. Still, the idea of an epic battle between Native Americans and giants is pretty fun. If that's not a movie in the next five years, humanity has officially failed itself. The Impermian Mass Extinction Everyone knows that the dinosaurs died from a giant asteroid collision, but few people know that the dinosaur extinction was not the only, or even the worst, mass extinction our planet has faced. There have been five, with the largest and strangest being the Impermian event, which happened 252 million years ago. Fossil records clearly show that 95% of all marine species and 75% of all terrestrial species went extinct, which is kind of impossible to imagine. The biodiversity loss on the Earth was catastrophic, and it took millions of years to get back to pre-extinction levels. And nobody knows why it happened. A leading theory about the event is that intense global warming caused the extinction, leading to wide-scale ocean acidification that was deadly to marine life. Other theories are a bit more dramatic. Geologists have discovered microscopic fractures and quartz crystals that date from the time of the extinction, implying that some sort of massive force shook the Earth. It could have been another asteroid collision. But an even more exotic theory held by many scientists is that coal in Canada and basalt in Siberia might have blown up, causing a huge ash cloud and making almost all life on Earth go extinct. We're not scientists, but we like this theory the best. Seems the most metal. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.